What's your long-term vision for Scantech AI? And I mean, are there specific verticals or global markets you haven't entered yet uh, that are on your strategic radar? Yeah, we we are we are focused on uh, trying to uh, number one get the uh, system out and in an operational configuration across multiple uh, sectors of the market. Um, and and as part of that process, we are looking at some pretty you know I think exciting inno innovation items to include in the machine. Uh, one of them is machine learning. Uh, our machine is a big data collection device. That data collection device has a lot of information that we currently take off platform and use it to improve our detection capability. Uh, what we're working on now are putting those routines on the machine itself, the platform. So some of that processing and improvement of its ability to detect will be real time on platform. And what, that is, what does that mean? That means the machine can get better the more things it scans on its own automatically. Another area just to add is uh, this whole cargo inspection area. We have a small tunnel size uh, that is limited to kind of backpacks, purses, packages, but we're looking at scaling that uh, tunnel size up to handle larger cargo and freight inspection items um, uh, at, at, at like seaports uh, and land ports coming in and out of uh, uh, international uh, borders. Yeah, fascinating. Any thoughts as well, Brad? Well, I would say geographically, we're we're focused on deepening, you know, deepening our presence in North America, where we've had uh, where we've had quite a bit of success already uh, with the with the product that we have to offer. Um, and but uh, uh, accelerating international growth, uh, where uh, security budgets are increasing, particularly in Europe and, and the Middle East. Um, is is going to be a, a continuing business development uh, uh, growth effort. Um, the you know I think the key is here uh, we've got technology that'll leapfrog what's out there right now, and so uh, approaching customers with uh, with that in mind that could be both both cost effective and um, you know enhance their security screening capability, save save more lives, um, and, and is is going to be critical and we're aligned you know the board and the leadership team are aligned to around this this kind of disciplined expansion strategy uh where we prioritize the customer and and and, and are growing in a way that uh is scalable and we can execute so um you know we we are we are just getting started uh the global demand for the product that uh, you know that dolan and his folks have created um, is going to is going to grow, and once they see the capabilities uh, of this system, it's going to grow fast. And so we have to be in a position that we can, uh, you know, we can deliver. So um, we're, we're we're positioning ourselves to lead that uh, to lead that evolution. Yeah, and speaking of uh, the capability, with threats constantly evolving, how do you see your technology uh, adapting over the next twelve to twenty four months? Are there any upcoming innovations or R and D efforts uh, you can kind of share that may further differentiate uh, Scantex capabilities? Well, I touched on a few of them last time. I have to be very careful here. We have ongoing uh, intellectual property development items here. Um, one is the embedded AI learning, the process of the machine learning aspects coming in, uh, automated threat classification, and system interoperability with other security ecosystem items, you know, connecting with other security devices that may be at the checkpoint. Other areas where we are uh, real excited are synthetic uh, threat library generation uh, processes uh, that allow us to uh, kind of mimic the real world. And that allows us to go through the certification process without having to scan actual items. We do it in a, in a virtual space and we are good enough in that area now that we can replicate the real world with synthetic data and do all of the qualification and certification that we need to do in order to make sure our algorithm has the right, you know, detection capability and false alarm rates required by our customers. Yeah. And as the company grows, are you planning to expand your ex executive leadership team? If so, uh, what roles are being prioritized to support your growth and operational needs? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we we are we 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 primarily were uh, engineers and scientists uh, trying to you know change the world when we began the company, uh, and we have we have gaps uh, that we're going to fill as we scale the company. One area is in the finance area, 
that we're we're building out a, a a real back office here to support not only what we're reporting to the public, but internally what we report and track and and bring in contracts and support that op, 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 part of the operations. Uh, international business development is real important to us. You know, security is a worldwide you know uh, need, and we're looking at it on an on a, on a worldwide basis. So we want to strengthen our international business development capabilities. And then we have these things now that we have commercial systems out, our ability to install and maintain those systems and deliver those systems is an area where we're looking at uh, increasing um, uh, and strengthening our, our resource base and, and executive leadership base in those areas. Yeah. And with your recent uh, adjustment on the board there, Brad, do you have any thoughts as well? Yeah. So leadership quality obviously is, is critical to to sustaining a long-term uh, long-term performance in, in the company, um, and as as Dolan mentioned, we're we're transitioning from this small R and D uh, company to you know to a to a commercial uh, customer satisfaction company, and uh, and everyone on the team is carrying more than more than their weight, and so um, we have to be strategic. And how we grow the team, um, prioritizing those roles as as Dolan mentioned uh, that uh, um, you know th that will that will bring our operational maturity and our growth to the to the place that we need to be, and uh, and, and filling those roles with uh, smart and energetic and people that are that that uh, share the share the values that we share of integrity and and uh, transparency.